Om Shanti. Have you heard of the first man who was hatched out of an egg? According to Bible, the first man was created out of clay. But according to a Hindu mythology, God Shiva created an egg from which the first human called Hangarai came out. When he came out, all he found was absolute peacefulness on earth. He got so scared of it that he spent most of his time near the eggshell. And even he went inside the eggshell and closed it. After several years, God got upset and he created another egg out of which another human hatched out. And he named himself as Subra. And she was very courageous and she shouted to the entire world that he was the first human on earth. And he said he was the eldest. He is the king of the world. On hearing his sound, Hungarai became frightened and came out of the shell and Sabrai informed Hangarai that he was the eldest. So after thousands of years they became really old and especially Hangarai became older and he was on his deathbed and uh, Sabrai was taking care of him and God appeared before them and they informed that actually the Hangarai was the eldest. Then the God disappeared. And also God said that only he knows the truth as he created both of them. So after the disappearance of God, Subrai felt very bad for his behavior, for um, behaving as if he was the elder brother to Hangarat. So holding the fate of Hangarai, Subrai asked for forgiveness and Hangarai made gestures to forgive him and to bless him. Then he left the body and as per the instructions of God, Subrai cremated the body of his elder brother Hangarai and she uh, dissolved the burnt ashes of his brother in a holy river. So from that day on, it has become the custom throughout India to burn the remains of our ancestors in holy rivers or Ganges or ocean. So that is what they do on Sankranti. They burn the, uh, they dissolve the burnt ashes of their ancestors and the rivers. In addition, they will create a makeshift home out of bamboos and coconut leaves, and so they will have their feast inside the house in the night. And the next day morning, they will burn the makeshift home into ashes. So, what is the significance of this kind of celebration of dissolving the uh, elders' ashes in the river and burning the makeshift home? 
first let's see the significance of uh, the story of Hungaraya and uh, Sabrai. So we all know for sure that it is impossible for a human to hatch out of an egg because it's a mammal. Then what is the secret behind the mentioning of an egg created by God? So for that you need to understand the direct knowledge given by God. So the essence of that knowledge is this 5000 year time cycle called Kalpa. We souls before taking birth in the earth resided just as souls without body in the golden red colored soul world. So that is where even God Shiva resides as a point of light. That is, he is also a soul, which is why he is called the Supreme Soul, Param Atma. And the place souls reside is called Parandam or Parlok, which means the world or place far away from the earth. So this world, soul world, is referred to as egg created by God. Because God is there, the souls that is that resides along with God will be pure. And from there, initially, certain souls descend to earth to take birth as humans. The world was initially heaven. So obviously it should be peaceful, blissful and is filled with the richness of God's creation. And we souls, after taking birth as humans in heaven, are called deities. It is those deities Hindus worship in temples even now. But what they didn't know is, it is we who were originally deities in our early births. For the first 2500 years, the world continues to be heaven. So, for the first 2500 years, there would be absolutely peacefulness and blissfulness throughout the world. So, there will be 33 billions of deities and those deities were represented as single Hungaroi in this mythology and what they refer to as another yug uh, is also this supreme soul but another set of souls descent only after the completion of first 2500 years, after the heaven has become hell. So, they, they started ruling the world. So, the deities were peaceful and loving towards each other. But when this world becomes hell, the new souls conquer the world from the old deities and they would be very harsh in nature, they would be fighting with each other, they would be selfish. Those residents of hell are collectively represented as Subroy, the second man to be hatched from the egg. But anyway, Nobody knows who came first because we all tend to forget our past birth. So nobody knows who came first. But towards the end of the world, towards the end of Kali Yuga, that is to be exact the last hundred years of Kali Yuga, God himself comes. He doesn't take birth like us but he entered an old man's body and started giving this knowledge called Murali which is available 
absolutely free of cost in all Raj Yoga meditation centers. And also, uh, let me put the link of YouTube videos and websites that give this morally in the description below this video. So please make use of it because it is only through that knowledge we get to know the secret about the full time cycle, Kalpa. Not only that, God reveals that we are the ones who came first. So it is only if you came first in heaven, you would be able to see this video and understand this video and be able to put everything that God said into practice so that you can become eligible to enter heaven again. So after getting this knowledge, we slowly develop faith over God and his knowledge. Thereby, we put maximum effort to become eligible uh, to enter heaven. So what is the eligibility? God says, while in heaven, you were absolutely peaceful because none of the vices like lust, anger, greed, attachment and ego existed in heaven because if they did exit, then there wouldn't be any peace at all. So it is because these vices were absent in heaven, they haven't remained peaceful throughout the first 2500 years. And the reason for that is they were soul conscious. They considered themselves to be the soul that shines like a tiny star in between the eyebrows, which is why Hindus still did have this habit of wearing religious symbol like bindis in between the eyebrows. All souls obviously remain peaceful while they were in the soul world. But the souls that entered heaven even after taking birth, they retained the peacefulness that they experienced while in the soul world. So that is what represented in this mythology that uh, the elder brother uh, Hungarai always stayed near the eggshell, which means he maintained the character and behavior as that of uh, the one that they possessed while in the soul world. So after the completion of first 2500 years, the second egg broke out, which means the world becomes hell and people started shouting at each other, creating conflict among themselves and they make this world into hell. God, God reveals all of this in the end and makes us back to soul conscious state. So he asks us to consider ourselves to be the soul, that is to become soul conscious. So you need to consider yourself as an imperishable soul that shines like a tiny star in between the eyebrows and you are entirely separate from this perishable body. It is the soul that sees through the eyes, that speaks through the mouth and when the soul leaves the body, the body no longer can see on its own or speak on its own. So after leaving a body, the soul takes another body, that is, it undergoes next birth. But in order to be able to take another body, it has to leave the old body, right? Although it has to leave its old body, either through disease or suicide or whatever means, it still 
doesn't get rid of the old habits and the attachment to the old world including its old body so because of that it ends up getting another old body it ends up getting old things of this old world because the five elements have themselves become old so obviously the body that is made up of five elements is also old that's why god comes in the end and reveals the secret to get rid of hell and get back to heaven and the way is pretty simple god asks you to consider yourself to be the soul distinct from the body and to remember god as a point of flight as much as possible in addition you need to remember heaven so we originally belong to heaven in the beginning it is because of the carelessness that we become body conscious and become addicted to the sensual pleasures and thereby become slaves of those five vices lang uh, lust anger greed attachment and ego so it is because of this we start committing sin after sin because of which we are enduring punishments in the form of disease natural calamities and all sorts of betrayal to escape all this god asks you to forget everything about this world world including your old body after getting this knowledge consider yourself dead to this old world which means you don't possess anything from this old world no relationship from the old world no attachment to any person or thing or fame or actions of the old world so you are left with just a soul without any body that is how you should consider yourself so which means you are burning the whole world including your own body in your mind you don't do it physically but you do it in your mind by repeatedly saying that to yourself due to accumulation of more and more sense in the world this world will definitely be destroyed in the end it is only after the destruction of the world world the new world comes into being because after all this world world itself is renewed into the world into the new world satyam heaven because you remove everything about this world world from your mind you are no longer attracted by anything in this world world so you are just freed from taking another birth in this world world so your soul goes straight to the soul world from where it takes birth into the new world because by becoming soul conscious and by remembering god as a point of light as much as possible you are burning your sins which means you are forgetting all about vices and you are becoming as pure as god and also by listening to the direct knowledge of god called morally you are imbibing those morally points and they become your divine characters so that divine characters that you develop by repeating the knowledge points and by remembering god as a point of light and by remembering heaven you are becoming eligible you you, you have developed all the qualities that is necessary to take birth in heaven so the easy way to remember the world world is to consider the world world to be dead already but it is 
just here for the namesake it's more like a makeshift home they make on um, <coughs> Hungary so those who make shift uh, those who make makeshift homes they know for sure that they are going to burn it the very next day even though they enter the home they spend night in the home they take dinner in the home they have no attachment to the home because they are aware that it is going to be burnt the very next day and they will have their houses whitewashed and clean before that so after burning this old house they will be entering the house that was clean so that represents the destruction of the old world it's like a old house it's like a makeshift house it may get destroyed any time so for us we consider it already destroyed so we have no attachment to anything that belongs to the world world including our body including the parents or any relationship you have in this world world you no longer have any attachment towards them so that is going to protect you from the punishment for the sins that you have committed in your past birth and in your present birth how because you are no longer attached to anything in this world world you are not going to get hurt when anything in this world world is getting destroyed on the other hand if you don't make any attempt in forgetting anything of the world world then whenever it gets destroyed or whenever uh, you are emotionally attached it to gets affected by disease or any other problems that is going to hurt you also that's how you experience the punishment for your past sins so god asks you to get rid of this body mentally consider yourself just as a point of light that is ever ready to go back to the soul world whenever we receive order from the god the funeral rituals for this old body will definitely be performed by somebody but that doesn't help you escape this old world filled with suffering and pain so to escape this old world you should be able to do the last rites to yourself when you are very much alive in this body which means you forget everything that belongs to the old world how do you achieve that by remembering god as much as possible and by filling your mind with the knowledge points of morally by constantly uh, ruminating over the points by this the sins become destroyed and your souls become as pure as god depending on how much time you put in the effort of remembering god and the inheritance which is heaven so by burning everything that belongs to the world world mentally we are eligible to enter the new world which is represented by uh, the people burning down the makeshift homes and entering a very clean house now everybody in this hell all kaliga vasis or subrais we shout at each other we create pain for each other now it is time to become hungry 
by getting close to the egg by remembering the egg the um, place of residence of souls that is not enough in addition to that you need to remember god also as a point of light because it is only by remembering god your sins are getting washed off but by remembering the place of residence that is the soul world you will get peace temporarily but in order to get peace and to stay in that peaceful state of mind forever you need to become pure by removing sins by remembering god as a point of light all the time so before the death of this world body you should be able to forget this whole body and the worldly things before that so that we can become eligible to enter heaven so that uh, you don't have to worry about anything when leaving the body because you have saved for yourself the inheritance for the next 2500 years how do you achieve that just by remembering god as a point of light om shanti if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and leave your valuable comments in the comment section if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and share this video with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from this om shanti